fight is begun. Yes. Uh... Yes. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. What do you want? Ask and be on your way. Haven's always been here. My family knows no other home. Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. A revered father, huh? That's new. I wonder what this means. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. The urn is nothing but a legend. Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. I suggest you seek your brother elsewhere. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? Used for food preparation, perhaps? I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. I wonder. The crows often made sacrifices of blood, and it gave them uncanny abilities. I wonder if this is the same thing. On it! Shall be done. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. Were you up? Were you down? Chasing rabbits round the town. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Who are you? You shouldn't be here. I asked you first. Lowlanders don't belong here. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Haven is Haven. But I have a secret. Do you want to see? Over by the mountain. It's lucky. I keep it with me. Don't tell anyone, all right? It shall be done. 
So, that game you were playing in camp, what was that? Diamondback. You never played Diamondback, have you? That's Diamondback? I've heard of it. I thought it was a card game played by dwarven... Uh... Go on, say it. Prostitutes. Yeah. It's not true, of course. It's not? Of course not. A noble hunter never charges money. Not if she wants to see him again, that is. <laughs> never saw one turn down a gift, though. Uh, what does that have to do with card games? Even a noble hunter can get bored. <laughs> Tell you what, don't ever bet your clothes. They'll strip you clean and leave you naked in the street. <sighs> Trust me. I'll take your word on it. You'd like? I shall do it. We have nothing you'd want. Please go. Smell! This is uneven leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. Now, if only you could find me a prostitute or two, a bowl of fish chowder, and a corrupt politician, I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> and they fit as well. Marvelous! Who are you? You're not from Haven. We... we don't get very many visitors. How would you describe the place you know only as home? No, I've never heard that name. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. What are you doing? That's private! Then you will trade for them, like everyone else. begun.
More enemies ahead. I shall do it. As you say. It is begun. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far? This, my brothers, is what happens when you let an outsider into the village. They have no respect for our privacy. He will tell others of us if we let him. Word will spread, and then what? You, stranger, do not understand our ways. You would bring war to Haven in your ignorance. We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. I am home.
shall be done. sent you to finish it. Yo, you're not one of them, thank the Maker. What do you think? Weeks of scant food and water, the torture. Oh, I've never felt better. So, you won't help an old man just because he's a little abrasive, I see. What? You think I'm sitting on this cold floor for my health? <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be taking it out on you. This isn't your fault. The leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. <coughs> Thank you. That... that feels much better. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. The Arl is sick. Will he live? Politics never did anyone any good. The Arl is a noble soul. But the ashes... The ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what that key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. All right. What is on your mind? <sighs> yes, of course. How could I forget? Irik said they were ambushed, some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. Good. Irik and his fellows were a blemish in the Maker's sight. If the Maker would even deign to look upon this world, that is. Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? <laughs> It wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. I do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. They call themselves the Disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she were still alive. I thought so at first, but I'm not so sure anymore. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me, where I grew up, things like that. Yes. Yes, it was. I certainly hope the ashes will save him. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. 
Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. By believing the ashes are magical, you make them so. Anyway, that can be discussed once we actually have the ashes, and the Arl is better. So run along and get that medallion, then. Waylon? What about him? Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. He believed in me. Even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Was there... Was there uh, something else you wanted to say? Ah, oh, good. Help me up here. I'll try not to slow us down. Here we are. Give me the medallion, and let's see if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it, it can be manipulated, just like this. And there, a key to open the way. There are very few keys like this left in the world, but I have seen some. When you find the right combination, it just feels right. It is hard to explain. Now, let's see if we can open this door. There should be a place to insert this. to have seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. I'm sorry, what? Ah, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Ann. It was designed to protect the Ann from those who would steal it or do harm to it. Namely, the Taventer Imperium. I'm not sure. The legends were never very specific on that point. Only the faithful shall lay eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. He weeps for his beloved, and his wrath at her betrayers endures. That is what the legend says, and the Maker may indeed watch this place. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand that it is merely a simple truth draped in hyperbole and metaphor. After all, no one wants to hear, Willie toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? I'll be right here if you need me. Now I need something to write on. Maker's breath. Look at it all.
I shall do it. Hmm. You think any valuable tomes might still be in a decent condition? As you say. Shall be done. You're back. Have you reached the urn? Oh, did you discover something fascinating within the temple? I shall do it.
Very well. It is begun. Of course. Over me. 
has begun. I shall do it. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. Very well. As you say. Shall be done. Begun. We must fight, let us do it quickly. There is 
no glory in bloodshed! No more talking. Now we do battle. For the fool's day, shall we compete for blood? It is begun. That's Archon Hesarian, the Magister who ordered Andraste burn to death and then took mercy on her at the last second.
Shall we? I shall do it. <laughs> 